now with the help of this model we can actually create the data so if I go down here and instead of res.send request.body.title what I'm gonna do is save the data on the database so in order to save the data onto the database you need to instantiate the model so we have our model right here which is diary all right so what you're gonna do is say const and we're gonna name this variable data and now we're gonna instantiate our model so we're gonna say new diary all right and inside the curly brackets I'm gonna set the title description and data to whatever we had added from our form all right now we use body parser in order to get this data right so here what I'm gonna do is say title and I'm gonna set that to request dot body dot title all right give a comma and I'm gonna say description set that to request dot body dot description and finally set the date to request dot body dot date All right so we have set our title description and date to whatever the input values that we had given all right and lastly what we need to do is save this data all right so we're gonna say data dot save so basically this is how you actually add any data on the database all right you create a new instance of your model all right and set the title description and date to whatever you want to set set up in our case it was the input that we have sent from our front end all right and lastly we need to save the data with the help of save method all right and now this method what it does is it will actually return a promise so we're gonna say then and inside this is going to be a callback and here what I'm gonna do is just redirect the user to our diary page all right so I'm gonna say res now in order to in order to redirect a user you need to use the redirect method all right so I'm gonna say res dot redirect all right and this res is basically coming from right here so I'm gonna say res dot redirect and inside this you just need to add the route to where you're gonna redirect so I'm gonna redirect to diary all right so once the data is saved in our database the user is going to redirect to the diary path and if there is any error we're gonna catch that and console log that error all right and that's done so if you save it and if I now go here and if I refresh the page and here let me just add new record and in our description I'm just gonna say this is a new record set the date and if I add it and now it's taking me to our diary page which means that the code worked and our data is now saved to the database all right so if I go to cluster here and if I go to collections and here as you can see our new data is being saved all right so the input that we had just given new record this is a new record it's being stored in our database and it has also created an ID which is unique all right so we don't have to specify the ID in our schema all right MongoDB automatically creates one and this ID is actually unique meaning it will be different for different datas all right and we're gonna need this ID later on but for now our data is actually stored in our database now what we need to do is fetch this data and actually display it here because this is what this page is about all right so we need to grab this data 
and we need to store it right here so for that what I'm gonna do is go to our I guess the diary route right here all right and what I'm gonna do here is say diary and this diary is basically our model and other than for creating a new user or a new record you don't need to instantiate the model all right it you just need to instantiate a new, the model when you're actually adding a new data so for fetching data what you're going to do is diary dot find all right and it will get you all the data of this collection and this will basically return a promise so we're going to say then and it will give you all the data from the collection all right so right now i'm just gonna console log the data all right just to see and if there is any error we're gonna catch that and we're gonna console log the error All right, so let's test that out. If I refresh this page, and if I go back here, all right, as you can see, the data is being console logged, all right? And this is basically the data that we had added in our database. So since it's being console logged, this means that we're actually being able to retrieve the data from the database, all right? Now, instead of console logging this, what we need to do is display it here, all right? So for that, what I'm gonna do is instead of rendering our page right here, I'm gonna render that here. And I'm gonna pass that data right here and in our diary.ejs because this is the page that is going to be displayed all right let me display the data right here let's say data just to check that out and if I refresh the page again and here you go you have the data all right now let's just display this in a proper way now if you look the data closely so we're actually getting this data in the form of an array of objects all right and each object will have this title description and date and we need to display all the data in our diary.ejs so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna, we, we are actually gonna use loops all right and for each loop we're gonna display its title, its description, and its date. And I'm gonna use for each loop in this case, all right? So the way you we're gonna use for each loop in EJS is pretty much similar to the way you use in normal JavaScript. So, so here, let me just add a div tag and set the class to diary, all right? And inside this, let's open and close our EJS brackets and here I'm gonna add the for loop all right so I'm gonna say data which is the data that is being passed from app.js all right and since it's an array I'm gonna say data dot for each and this is basically how you use for each in JavaScript as well and inside the brackets we need a callback function and it's gonna say diary all right that means for each object inside the array what we're gonna do is display the title description and date so we're gonna say div class diary container I'm gonna add an h3 tag and here I'm gonna say diary dot title let's add a p tag here and let's do the same thing 
but in case of title let's just add the date we're not going to add description in this case all right and finally i'm going to add an anchor tag all right let's leave the href as it is for now and let's set that to more let's save this and see if this works or not if i go to my type if i go to my application and refresh this all right and the reason i got this error is because in case of ejs if you're using this curly brace mostly it will you will use this when you're using for or if statements if you're using this curly brace inside your ejs the open curly braces should be followed by ampersand and closing brackets and before this closing curly braces we need to open the bracket and hit ampersand all right so this is basically how it works in EJS. I know it's a bit confusing, but the more you code in EJS, the less confusing it becomes, all right? So for the opening curly braces, you need to hit ampersand and close the bracket. And before this close, closing curly braces, you need to open the bracket and hit ampersand. So if you save this, and if I refresh this page, now you'll actually see our data, all right, that is being displayed right here. And let me just cut this up and paste it right here. Save that. All right, and so now the database, the data that you are actually fetching from the database is being shown right here let's try this out again if i go to add and i'm going to say new record to in our description let's just say this is a new record to and if i hit the date and let's click add to diary and there you go not only we are being redirected to our diary page, but our new record is also being displayed right here.